Okay, I'm going to draw a Bible timeline. I don't know if you can see that. But here's going to be the beginning. And uh, so we'll call this uh, 404 BC and put a question mark because that could be arbitrary. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I think it was uh, about 1600 years later there was Noah's flood. Okay. And then of course that uh, we got the birth of Jesus. And um, we know that he was uh, born from Mary and then born of God at the same time okay and then um, we have the of course we got the death and resurrection shortly thereafter All right, and then, of course, we got present day. Call it right now. All right, and then we've got uh, the return of Jesus. And so this is important to know that the return of Jesus and Judgment Day is the same time. So we got the return of Jesus, which is also the day of the Lord. Okay, this is when the sun will be darkened. All right. Sun darkened. All right, and you know what else happens? Okay, so the so those of us, uh, the elect, the chosen of God, will be lifted up, lifted up to meet Jesus in the air. Uh, first, the dead in Christ, and then those who remain alive, be lifted up to meet with Jesus in the air, and then. Uh, the earth will be destroyed, right? Earth destroyed, and this is when Satan is loosed uh, just to uh, destroy everything on earth. And um, we are transformed into our new bodies, and uh, the New Jerusalem. Yeah, just put that right here. New Jerusalem will come down out of heaven, and there will be a new, a new heaven and a new earth, and there will be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more crying. Neither shall there be any more death, right? And we will live forever and ever and ever with Jesus, okay? So any doctrine that contradicts this, you know, like the millennial reign, the millennial reign is happening now. Um, the 70 AD, you can forget about all that. Um, the thing that I think uh, it's important to know is that the next thing to happen is Jesus coming in the clouds of heaven. Okay? Thank you.